Whoa. Pretty good crankcase pressure there. Hello everyone. In today's video I am working on a 19 F350 6.7 and we're going to install the crankcase vent filter element assembly. Gen 1 engines, they're non-serviceable. You got to replace the whole box. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the fuel filter off, get it out of my way. It makes it a little easier. Um, you can, the workshop says you can just pull the fuel supply line and you can snake it out of there. But there's a bunch of rat turds up on top of there, so I want to try to not dump them all over the place. Uh, this one originally came in, customer states it was smoking, and when I went to pull the oil cap, it had been running for a while, and I pulled the oil cap off and it almost shot into the hood. It had so much crankcase pressure on it. So the longer it runs, the more it builds up. So we're going to go ahead and pull these fuel lines out. You, you uh, release the plastic clips and you gently twist on it while pulling. Try not to break these plastic lines. And you spin the oil filter, or excuse me, the fuel filter back about 45 and then up to release it. We'll get that out of the way. Probably be a good time to service it. And I'm going to zip tie this fuel supply line out of the way. Next is to remove the 8 millimeter bolts from the cap, pull the cap out. The back bolts are kind of hard to get at so I'm using a just a ratcheting end wrench with the 8 millimeter socket on it. And these are, uh, there's the VIM tool ratcheting wrench I'm using. The bolts in it are captured. You'll loosen them up. They will stay attached to the cap. And you'll see here in a second uh, all the rat turds all the way around the edge of this cap. And we'll dump those out in the trash. Next is to pull this element out. This one's pretty much plugged up solid. I believe this thing had 67,000 miles on it for a 19. And you see the difference what the new one looks like. kind of uh, hard and crusty and brittle from the oil. I don't think this uh, vehicle has been maintained very well. Next I'm going to clean up the mating flange inside that box. Install the new element.
put the lid back on. Tighten up the bolts. Put the fuel filter back in it. Pull the zip tie back off. Install the fuel lines. This one's kind of tricky. You have to Install it at the top and the bottom at the same time and push it in. Make sure they're fully seated. Snap the clips in. There's a little bit of diesel spill so I'm soaking that up. Start this engine up. See how we did.